Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a Sagittarius reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and ninth house placements. And it's just going to be for the following, the next week, okay? Starting today and going until the 8th. So, Happy New Year, guys. Hope you guys are having a good New Year. And let's see what's going on with you guys. So, what is the main mood for Sagittarius? as we go into this first week of January and 2020, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Cross Watchers, or anyone that feels inclined to watch the Sag reading. Oh, we've got Temperance. That's a card for you guys, okay? Um, trying to find some balance here, trying to uh, balance the light and the dark as you come to the end of a cycle. Two main major arcanas, okay? So the world and temperance you could be dealing with a capricorn or it could just be the end of this cycle okay you've learned all your lessons you've um you know grown and ascended to a higher level as that year came to a close um you could be using whatever grief or i did see the five of cups briefly so i thought that may be a message you could be using that as a way to pour into something else create something um blend the light and the dark okay and kind of like face your shadow side but also be in touch with your light side and just become more of who you are because the temperance card does represent sagittarius so that's really cool um let's see what are things you guys have to let go of as you go into this first week of january okay what is sagittarius working on letting go of here mourning that was the grief that i just saw you guys are definitely mourning something you could have been mourning like even the year like things that happened just looking back at your year and feeling kind of like a pain and a loss for whatever things didn't go the way you wanted to but i feel like you guys are in alignment you might be hearing or seeing names of people that are significant to you reminding you that you're on a spiritual journey and that you are still even though the world is like a complete cycle you're about to start like a new cycle now okay so i feel like you guys are on continuous spiritual journey like everyone else's and so um you know you could be getting a lot of signs from spirit whether it's numbers names anything that's directing you along your way okay so i'm going to pull some from the healers of the earth oracle and see what are some of the energies supporting you as you approach this first week of the new year okay we've got hands that heal healing ability and caught in the web manipulation drama and intrigue all right um there could be someone that's helping you heal from a past you know drama maybe it was a toxic relationship or it could be saying that's kind of what the temperance with the light and the dark i feel like is interesting with the hands is kind of using your healing abilities to heal parts of you or situations that you are more in like the dark energy okay so this is once again balancing the light and the dark and trying not to get too caught up in the web. Remind yourself of positive healing things when you find yourself being pulled into any dark energy or drama here, okay? All right, cool. So I'm gonna pull some cards to see if you guys are currently in a partnership type situation or you are in separation, what the energies are in that dynamic, okay? So I'm gonna pull three from this Wisdom of the House of the Night and then three from Mystic Moon Oracle deck here and see what we got going on. I was gonna take that, but I haven't even started shuffling yet, so I'm gonna wait. All right. All right, so let's see what you guys got going on here. Okay, we've got the moon and observer okay so you could be really drawn to the moon right now could be observing a pisces in your life potentially this isn't a tarot card but the moon always represents pisces to me or cancer okay but you might just be trying to observe things that happen around the full the last full moon what was it i can't even remember the cold moon no that wasn't it maybe it was um just observing trying to get more information since then okay maybe something started happening around that time and you're just trying to get some answers around that okay but i feel like you guys are in this more like high priestess type energy of just observing taking it all in not necessarily taking any action but just kind of listening and being receptive okay more of that like feminine moon um yin 
energy, okay? And then we've got uh, beauty and understanding. Yeah, this is more of that observing. I feel like you guys are starting to really see the beauty in things, the light. I feel like there's a lot of messages about that light and darkness here. So I feel like you guys are starting to really see the light and the beauty in things. And if you're not, this is a message to say that you, you know, you should be. And I feel like with your um, counterpart, this is saying that they're starting to understand your beauty and see it as well. And um, this moon and observing, it could be a Pisces and it could be someone that's watching things that you're doing or, um, you know, just taking note of you. Maybe it's on social media or something like that. But um, understanding and beauty, I feel like they're starting to understand these aspects of you that are more hidden, not just like external beauty, but things that were beautiful about you and the connection that they overlooked, okay? And we do have a soulmate here and conclusion, all right? So this could either be a conclusion to a certain chapter. This could be your person is concluding something with a, like another soulmate, like a karmic or just a soulmate that wasn't meant to be permanent or they could be concluding and something. And there's a lot of different possibilities here. They could be getting down on their knee and, you know, making this official and concluding this cycle of maybe having multiple people and now they're ready to commit. But... Um, you know, that that's kind of up in the air. You know what? I'm going to just pull a couple cards to get some clarity on that with the conclusion and the soulmate. I do have a king of swords, so I don't know if there's a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with um, and queen of cups, okay? So I feel like um, this could be something significant. This queen of cups, it could be you if you have maybe water in your chart, getting in touch with your intuition. But if there is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, I would pay attention to your intuition and the inclinations that you have about this person, okay? All right, so it's just going to be a short reading. I'm just doing these short readings for this first week. So I'm going to pull from Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 and see what the person you're dealing with wants to communicate that they're not communicating to you, okay? What does this person want to say to Sagittarius? Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. I was reminded of your scent recently. I'm still haunted by my actions. All right, so this person's very much connected to you still. They're still having senses stimulated that remind them of memories with you. Um, they might have really done something you know, wrong and now they feel like they don't know how to make it right, but they are haunted by this, okay? And they may never show you this. That could be the King of Swords energy that they have. They're just very cold, but they, you know, they may, come around at some point. So that's the message I have for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.